Mary says, my organization has many guest users. She's bragging already. We don't know you, Mary. Why you don't start a conversation like bragging like that? <laughs> I've just run across that their search results are not the same as mine. Uh, owner admin guests are not seeing all or files. Is there a way that they can see the file search results? Is it a permissions issue? It's important that guests get to search and find files too. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I had some notes on this. Uh, I've run into this before. Um, it's kind of back up to another question that we answered today about um, permissions, checking the permissions on things. Um, but specifically knowing some of the history of the site with the content. So one, be going through and and being able to, uh, to, to find within the search results, there's a number of different things that could have happened um, that could change the accessibility of that content. So if there are sensitivity labels, if then Azure information protection is enabled around that, and where that could happen, if you're like, no, look there, I don't see anything here clearly, but if content was migrated, especially with a lot of the third-party tools that keep, you know, are very resilient, what they move across and keeping the labels and permissions and uh, historical changes that were made to those, to those documents and, and, and list items, um, that they, those rules could still be in place, which could be causing this issue. This is why, again, a third, third party uh, governance and administration tools are really good. My company has one, others that have them out there that allow you to go in and look at the document level and say, what's like, what is attached to this? What are the permissions around it? Who ha who's touched it? Um, what rules are in place? Where were they, the rules applied? What labels are in place? Um, you know, what's turned on, what's turned off of all the various capabilities that are out there. So you could then strip it bare down and give access and make sure that it's open to everybody. But also, as an owner admin, doing a search, you're never going to get the same results as a guest anyway, because you've got access to all the SharePoints and OneDrive and, you know, so it's an unrealistic expectation to be able to also do a, they want to be able to search and find all the files too. Well, no, they're a guest. If they're not a guest, then actually create them as a user within your organisation if they need to be able to see across the business. Well, and that's all, to your point, it's always going to be the case. Even people, the four of us are in the same company. We're going to get a different view of things based yeah. on our permissions, based yeah. on our, the access levels to everything that we're seeing there. So yeah. if if the complaint here is that here there's these 10 files and these guest users should have access and I've given them permission, but they still don't have access, it's because there are other rules at play. And so you need to understand what else is out there and there's a number of places that you need to go and look to understand why for those 10 files that they should have access to why they don't and it's not just about having that first level the permissions that's the first step then it's sensitivity labels then it's other information protection rules and any other life cycle management things which could restrict their view viewability yeah this is we're getting to the point where Microsoft 365 really needs an the equivalent of Active Directory's RSOP tool, resultant set of policies, so that you actually see everything that influences the object you're interested in, what access you have to it, and what is driving that. I'm pretty sure I just saw something about that. Did you? I did. I did. I'd have to look up the link real quick to find out what it was, oh, but I did. Oh, no. I'd hate to, you know, add effort to a <laughs> snarky comment. <laughs> we'll put it in the links and start a recording. If yes. you well, get a mail, that's right. right. It'll, it'll be there eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Microsoft well, Purview. Ah, uh, yes, the change. Oh, yeah, the new, the new changes, the stuff that we've... Uh, yeah, we've not we've not yet seen questions around, but yeah. So that's that is Microsoft's new branding, uh, where they've combined Azure Information Protection and other compliance uh, and records management capability, uh, the 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 you know into one solution. 
So you have one place to go to find all those different pieces. So that would be another place. I don't know that it does exactly what we've described, but that's something that I definitely need to go do some research on. I am. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Thanks for the link, I, Sharon. I feel like that is that's the gist of where they're headed is trying to basically a one stop shop around compliance. Very cool. Well, that that folks is what is in the link, you know, down below. Okay. Yeah. Everything comes back, Sean. Everything. The circle of life. It's the circle of life. The circle always, of life. I always see things come back, and I'm like, ah, oh, wait, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what once was old is new again. Yes, yes.